Imagine a submarine so quiet that even modern sensors struggle to detect it. Sweden says it has built exactly that. Today we are looking at the Saab A26, described as the world's first fifth-generation submarine. Swedish defense manufacturer Saab has officially revealed the A26, a next-generation submarine that focuses on stealth, multi-domain operations, and advanced NATO mission requirements. This design represents a major shift in how future submarine warfare will look. Saab uses the term fifth generation to describe a set of capabilities that go far beyond classic diesel-electric submarines. Key features include a structure built around extremely low acoustic signatures, a design that absorbs radar and sonar energy, modular mission bays that can change roles rapidly, long endurance for covert operations near hostile coastlines, integration with modern NATO networks to support multi-domain missions that combine surface, air, and cyber assets. The focus is complete mission flexibility, with quiet operation that makes it difficult to detect or track. The A26 uses a combination of sound-absorbing materials, vibration isolation, and a hull designed to reduce noise. Saab claims the A26 can operate close to enemy forces while remaining extremely difficult to locate with traditional sonar. Its air-independent propulsion system lets it stay underwater much longer than older submarines. This allows extended surveillance missions without surfacing. Modern warfare now links submarines to drones, satellites, surface vessels, and cyber systems. Saab designed the A-26 to operate inside this type of network. The submarine can deploy autonomous underwater vehicles through a large mission portal. It can support special forces operations, intelligence gathering, electronic surveillance, and long-range strike missions, depending on the configuration. This versatility is important for NATO's future plans in the Baltic Sea and the North Atlantic. Sweden sits near some of the most contested waters in Europe. Russia's naval activity in the Baltic has increased, and NATO is strengthening maritime defenses. Sweden wants a submarine fleet that can operate quietly near shorelines, patrol choke points, and gather intelligence without being detected. The A-26 is meant to give Sweden an advantage in this region. It also strengthens NATO's undersea capabilities as Sweden integrates fully into the alliance. The first two A-26 submarines are now under construction. They will replace older Swedish boats and provide new capabilities for NATO missions. If successful, the A-26 may set the standard for a new class of advanced diesel-electric submarines that compete with the most advanced fleets in the world. The launch of the A-26 marks an important moment for submarine warfare. It combines stealth, modular design, and advanced mission support in a way that could influence how future submarines are built around the world. If you enjoyed this breakdown, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates on global defense technology.